So I've worked on a lot of motion design projects in the last couple of months. And as a result, I've got a lot of questions. What's motion design? How can I get started? How can I learn how to make money too? <laughs> so what is motion design? So motion design is basically motion graphics design. That sounds repetitive or not too explanatory, but so we all know graphic design, right? Um, posters, design, um, all of that stuff. So motion design is basically making, you know, that thing you do with graphic design move. You know, how to make it look nice, um, catch your attention, um, direct your attention from one detail to the other, uh, you know, illustrate or consolidate something someone is talking about. Um, what else can I use to describe motion design? Um, motion design is also, um, yeah, an illustration or a moving illustration of information you like to pass across. So motion design is often used with um, words like animation, or motion graphics, and all that stuff. So I think motion, motion design and motion graphics are probably more on the same level. Animation tends to be, or tends to um, be used in cases of character animation, um, um, 3D character animation, and all that stuff. So generally, people mostly use motion design for the um, umbrella, or as an umbrella term for everything that moves, or motion graphics for more informative um, stuff, and then animation for more character-like and 3D stuff. Well, not, none of this is official or set in stone. These are just terminologies that people use and sometimes mix up. I may be mixing this up. You never know. So how can you do motion design? How do you get started? What do you use? So there are a couple of um, industry standard tools like After Effects. Um, in Premiere Pro does a little bit of motion graphics. Um, what else? Those are actually the two major apps. Every other thing is most definitely not industry standard. So the two main applications used for motion graphics are After Effects and Premiere Pro. For more 3D um, looking stuff, you have apps like Cinema 4D, Blender, um, 3D Max, um, Maya, and apps like that. So, and Houdini for way more complicated motion, motion work. But yeah, these are the apps you use for motion design. It can be a lot to handle, so I recommend you start with After Effects. After Effects is like the baseline. Every other thing is more or less like a building block of of all this stuff. So we'll be having a series on um, After Effects, how to use it, the basics, um, a couple of tools, and general principles, and I'm sure you learn from it. So please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel, and you know, let us know what type of content you'd like us to create, um, what you like to learn in the world of motion design, and I'm sure we'll look into how we can give you the content you deserve. See you soon.